Roblox is one of the best free games when it works, but occasionally, an error code may temporarily halt your enjoyment. In the case of error code 267, you have a rather significant problem on your hands. Here's everything you need to know about the error code, what it means, how to fix it, and what causes it. Error code 267 in Roblox generally indicates that you have been kicked from a session or temporarily banned from the game. It can appear when joining an experience, or it can happen when you're already logged in. Several other factors can also spring it. The error could appear to prevent users with unstable internet connections from affecting an experience, or if the game detects suspicious activity. It's also a way to prevent people from having an unfair advantage in the game. So if you're cheating, you'll likely get the Roblox error 267. Due to its varied nature, error code 267 has no single fix. But depending on the message given alongside the error code, you may be able to narrow down the cause. Number one, wait out the ban. If error code 267 appears alongside a ban message, your only course of action is to wait out that ban. In most cases, the restriction doesn't last forever, usually just a couple of days at most. So while it's frustrating to be suddenly locked out of the game, don't panic. A short ban is often temporary and designed to act more like a warning than a permanent punishment. That said, it's worth keeping in mind that you were banned for a reason. Sometimes bans are triggered because of your behavior in a specific experience. For example, if you were spamming chat using offensive language, griefing other players, or breaking the community rules, moderators or even automated systems can issue a temporary ban. Other times, it's not about chat or behavior, but about the way you were interacting with the game itself. Exploits, cheats, or even suspicious patterns that look like cheating can cause the system to take action. Whether intentional or not, the game might interpret certain actions as harmful, and that can quickly lead to a ban message tied to error code 267. If your situation falls into this category, the best thing you can do is reflect on what happened. Think about the actions leading up to the ban, and whether they crossed a line in terms of community standards or fair play. Once the ban expires, you'll want to avoid repeating those behaviors, because repeated bans can escalate to longer suspensions or even permanent account action. Remember, other players also have the power to report you if they feel you're disrupting the game. Enough reports can draw moderator attention and result in exactly this kind of short ban. On the other hand, Sometimes the ban message linked to error code 267 isn't actually about rule breaking at all. It can be triggered by a technical issue. Connection drops, unstable internet, or a miscommunication between the client and the server can occasionally display as a ban error. Even when you didn't actually do anything wrong. That's why it's useful to check your internet connection, restart your router, or reinstall the game client after the ban period ends. If the issue continues even after the timer runs out, it could be a sign of a deeper technical problem rather than moderator action. Ultimately, the main takeaway is simple. Be patient. The ban isn't permanent, and in most cases, you'll be back in the game soon. While you wait, take the time to consider both the technical and behavioral sides of the problem. That way, when you're able to rejoin, you'll have a smoother, more enjoyable experience without the looming risk of seeing error code 267 again. Number two, try joining another experience. If error code 267 appears when joining a specific server, try entering another public or private experience. This will help you determine whether the issue lies with a particular experience, the Roblox client, or something else in your environment. If the new experience loads without issue, the problem likely lies with the original server you were trying to join. In this case, we suggest waiting a few hours before attempting to rejoin. Number three, check your internet connection. An erratic or slow connection could cause the Roblox client to boot you from the server. Before doing anything hasty, reboot your router. Next, consider running a speed test to gauge your network's performance. Finally, if your current network interface is too slow, Consider switching to a more stable Wi-Fi network, wired connection, or mobile data connection. Number four, other potential fixes. If you've recently installed a new browser add-on, consider removing it again before using Roblox. 
it's unlikely that existing add-ons or your existing browser would suddenly cause error code 267. However, a new ad blocking or script blocking add-on might. Consider temporarily disabling your antivirus software. Again, it's unlikely that your security package would abruptly cause an issue if Roblox has functioned correctly with it running before. But it's worth a try. Remember to reactivate it after this troubleshooting step. Exempt Roblox from the Windows Defender Firewall If you play the title on PC, this is a step you should perform, whether you've encountered error code 267 or not. Open the Windows Start menu and search for Windows Defender Firewall. Open the app. Click Allow an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall. Find Roblox and ensure that the checkbox on the left-hand side margin is checked. Hit OK. Create a new account. This isn't so much a fix as it is a workaround. If your main Roblox account remains inaccessible for more than a few days, or if you really can't wait to play again, consider creating a temporary or secondary account. 